Hello everyone, welcome to Chemistry Made Simple for Deep channel. Today we are going to see about books for first year MBBS. So let me present to you the important books for first year MBBS. As you can see here, for first year MBBS you have three subjects, Anatomy, Physiology and Biochemistry. So Anatomy is all about studying the structures mu like muscles, nerves, veins, and uh, everything about the human body. Physiology is more about the physiological aspect of the human body like respiration, circulation and everything. Biochemistry is about biochemical compounds which are present in our body. So all of these subjects are really important for first year MBBS. So let us see about the books which we, we, which we can use to study them. So first of all we are going to see about books for anatomy. So, anatomy is a subject which requires a lot of books because there are different types of uh, topics. So, first uh, we are going to see about the theory textbooks. For human anatomy, you have B.D. Chaurasia which has three volumes or Vishram Singh which has three volumes. Commonly, both of these standardized textbooks are uh, recommended by most of the colleges. Some students find uh, B.D. Chaurasia to be more comfortable. Some find Vishram Singh to be more comfortable. The diagrams in Vishram Singh are, more, are said to be more easier and they are more easy to read. But I personally prefer B.D. Chaurasia. It was easy for me to read. Uh, you can actually uh, try both of these books and see which is more convenient to you and you can read any one of them. So for this uh, neuroanatomy, so the best book for neuroanatomy is Vishram Singh. You can also use B.D. Chaurasia, but I prefer Vishram Singh more. And for textbook of histology and human uh, embryology, I.B. Singh is the best. As you know, for anatomy, you have histology, osteology, embryology. So histology is the study of tissues. In I.B. Singh, you have really good illustrated diagrams along with identification points and uh, uh, some of the important points. So. And for human embryology also it is the best. For general anatomy, B.D. Chaurasha has a small handbook which you can carry around with you. Uh, it will be very beneficial when you are just starting a topic. For example, if you are starting to read about wounds, you can just uh, go through the general anatomy uh, short book. There are so many important points given there. So it serves as an introduction. So for practical, you know we have practicals in anatomy. So mainly you have spotters. And uh, for that uh, practical anatomy, Cunningham manual is really good. It has three volumes. For histology, uh, I prefer Balakrishna Shetty. So next, uh, these are some of the reference books. So uh, the thing about reference book is that you don't have to uh, buy and learn all of these. Just select one good book which is preferable to you. So it can be any of this. So first of all, Grace Anatomy. So it is actually one of the standardized book. I definitely recommend it. If you have time, you should definitely read this book. So all of the content is in an orderized manner. And uh, this this actually uh, preferred by everybody. So, uh, but uh, read it only if you have the time. So each uh, subject, uh, each subject in MBBS, you can choose a book by a foreign author or an Indian author. For anatomy, uh, the standardized book uh, by a foreign author is Grey's Anatomy and the standardized book by an Indian author is B.D. Chaurasia. So Grey's Anatomy is, is a must read for every student. Next you have Snell's Clinical Neuroanatomy. So if you want to read more about neuroanatomy, so it has a lot of illustrative diagrams, then neuro radiographs, then uh, table summarizing the important points and key scenarios with explanation, MCQ plus you have some of the osteology parts as well. So again Snell's clinical anatomy. So if you read Grey's anatomy you do not need any of these books. Everything is covered there. So and Langman's medical embryology. So you can read about embryology in depth. Then uh, if you uh, do not like to read IB Singh you can use this. Then Dr. Keith L. Moose Essential Clinical Anatomy. Then last anatomy, so this one, it has really dense text with maximum information squeezed into each paragraph. 
so it is actually a little difficult to understand as a beginner i do really recommend this book so, but if you are really interested then you can go ahead but you need to buy an atlas since the diagrams in this book are not so good then you have uh, defio's atlas of Histo histology so most of the good diagrams are covered in uh, the manuals but again if you want an atlas you can go for diaphos Thebes atlas of anatomy is my favorite you have a lot of good diagrams illustrated diagrams which you, you can use to uh, visualize the important concepts given in bd chaurasia so i will definitely recommend you to buy this book it is really useful and it was really useful for me too for my preparations so next we are going to see about books for physiology so the main standardized uh, textbook for physiology by an indian author is l prakasham reddy lpr fundamentals fundamentals of medical physiology you have two volumes or essential of medical physiology by sembulingam so about the uh, second book sembulingam i don't prefer it that much because the texts are really easy to understand but the thing is that if you are a medical student uh, you will be able to understand lpr so and mainly sembulingam is based on exam point of view it is mainly for uh, useful for passing university exams but if you are reading as a doctor i uh, prefer prakasham reddy or ganog's review of medical physiology then again for practicals you have gk pal textbook of practical physiology i really prefer this book it is uh, so useful so especially the during clinic, uh, clinical examinations which is a practical in physiology so uh, a lot of uh, uh, photos are given on how to do uh, each step correctly next uh, so this is actually the standardized book by the foreign author gaitan and hall textbook of medical physiology and uh, these are some of the reference books lippincott illustrated reviews of physiology you, ha you have the same book for biochemistry as well so now this is for biochemistry the standardized book is textbook of biochemistry for medical students by dm vasudevan or you have biochemistry by pankaj nayya so dm vasudevan is a standardized book uh, my teachers used to say that earlier they had only the foreign author version which is the harpers it was very big and uh, it was really understand it, it was uh, really difficult Uh, for the indian people to understand it because of its uh, tough uh, english language but after uh, you, you had to read it uh, three or four times to understand what is given in the te uh, textbook but uh, after the book by uh, dm vasudevan was uh, written it was really easy but if you are still going for an easier version you can read pankaj nayak you have also essentials of pankaj nayak so whichever you prefer you can read that and for ma practicals you have manual of practical medical uh, biochemistry by evangeline johns next uh, reference book will be lippincott illustrated reviews of biochemistry so one thing about the books is that it creates a lot of confusion uh, when you are buying them because uh, you do not know how they look like so now i am going to show you the physical forms of uh, the books i have shown you so the first one is bd chaurasia so you have three volumes so this is the first volume so this is the upper limb plus thorax as you can see here so i have the other versions as well this is volume 2 this lower limb abdomen and pelvis next you have the third volume which is head and neck so these are the three volumes of bd chaurasia next is i'll show the books for neuroanatomy so i have two books one is a, a textbook of clinical neuroanatomy by vishram singh 
also you have a bd chaurasia alternative so earlier it was used to be the fourth part as you can see here so you can see the inside of this book So I feel uh, Vishram Singh is more nicer for neuroanatomy. Has a lots of important points and tables given. Next is uh, this is Indubia Singh's textbook of human histology. So as you can see here, they are showing some slides here along with the important identification points. Then this uh, IB Singh book for human embryology. Always make sure to uh, buy the latest edition. So uh, now this is a handbook for general anatomy. So now I am going to show you the practical manuals. So this is the first one. This histology manual of Balakrishna Shetty. Mainly I draw uh, diagrams of histology from this book. I hope you can see this clearly. Next is uh, Cunningham, Cunningham's manual. You have three volumes of this. So next uh, we are going to see about biochemistry. You have only a single book for biochemistry. This is by text textbook of biochemistry, uh, this D. M. Vasudevan. So, this is how that is going to look like. And this is a practical manual by Evangeline Jones. Next, uh, I will be showing you the books for physiology. For LPR, you have two volumes. This is volume number two, and this is volume number one. I will show you the inside of it. And now this uh, textbook of practical physiology by G. K. Paul. So you can purchase these books either online or in store. So uh, the one thing I like about purchasing uh, new books is that when you purchase a new one uh, rather than a second hand, they give you useful charts like this which you can hang in your room. So this is the chart I got for uh, buying human histology. So it can be very useful for uh, certain revisions to especially during exams.
I hope you can see it clearly. So, it contains summary of all the histology diagrams which is present in the book. So, during exams you can just uh, take this and revise the important points along with the diagrams. So, that is all for today. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.